Bad Boys for Life will have you shedding some tears. I just got out of a screening for Bad Boys for Life here at the Sony lot. As you can see, they're pr promoting their latest film. And I will say coming in, you know, it's their third film in the franchise. It's been a while. Um, so I was a little skeptical they can recapture the magic. But oh my God, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence have outdone themselves. This movie, I loved it. I cannot believe I loved it this much. Why? Because this movie has so much heart. The movie reflects the years that have passed by. Marcus is now a grandfather. And of course we've known he's always talked about retiring, that this life is kind of not for him. So they play upon those same themes here, but in a much more grown up kind of way. There's a lot of growing up that they're faced with. And in this film, actually, we see their relationship put to the test because some one major event that happens, and I won't say what, because I was shocked when it happened, and, oh my God, it's just very, very emotional. And I have to say, Martin Lawrence really moved me with this performance. My God, he had me in tears. Um, he really put out some emotional stuff in this movie. And it's all in relationship to um, his bromance with Mike, um, Will Smith's character. And I was really moved, not just once, but like three times watching his performance. And I was really shocked. And I can't say it enough, I really liked it. Nobody remembers the action scenes in the first one and the second one, film directed by Michael Bay. You remember the bromance between Marcus and Mike. They have a really special bond. And in this one, the chemistry is just off the charts. And because you know him so well, it's heartbreaking to see where the story takes him in this uh, third installment. But I just really, really enjoyed it. I'm really, really shocked how much I liked it. The action was really good. They modernize it so you have some cool techie stuff um, reflected in the action scenes and uh, even the villains um, utilize some of that um, new technology. Bad Boys for Life boasts a great cast aside from Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. We have Joe Pantigliano returning his role as a captain and he has grown, he has grown up a bit. He's no longer this yelling um, authoritative figure. Well, he, you know, he's, done, he's doing some yelling but he's more, more of a father figure to these two. And it was very, very touching, I will say. So I think they gave him a really, really, really great role in this film. And uh, you'll see the chemistry that he has with Marcus and Mike continue in this film. And there's just, uh, you know, his, this is probably the most richest uh, character Joe Pantoliano has played in these movies. And it was very heartfelt. So I can't, you know, I don't want to say anything else, but it was a very special relationship. We also have Paola Nunez uh, joining the cast and Kate del Castillo, and she's kind of playing a Reina del, La Reina del Sur um, type of character, a drug cartel queen. Um, so that was a little odd to see her in the same kind of role, but she was cool. I'm afraid of uh, Kate del Castillo's uh, character in this film. Um, she practices Santa Muerte, um, so if you know what that is, it's not something you want to play around with. Um, but she's really good in the film. Also, you have um, Paola Nunez, which is kind of an offset as to the bad Latino character that you have here, another drug cartel member. So Paola Nunez um, heads her own division there, which is kind of the techie version um, of the police department. So she handles um, you know, the drones and all the technology and the surveillance. So she plays, her character is really, really good. She's badass. Um, Vanessa Hudgens is also part of that team. She was really badass too. So. Bad girls for life. That was, a, that was a good one. I really liked the balance in the film. Um, Alex, Alexander Ludwig is also in the film and Charles, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but it's a very, very diverse cast. They were all really great. They represent the younger generation of the police department. So it was a great uh, comparison to Marcus and Mike as representing the older generation. Um, so they played on that really, really well. And I think as far as like the action scenes, how Mike would take on um, a potential suspect versus how the new techie division would take it on. So I really liked that. I just thought it was very, very layered. Everything was layered. There was a, there was a shot where uh, Marcus is at home relaxing versus Mike getting ready to jump into action. And uh, I thought the contrast was so hilarious and funny. 
I thought that was brilliant. I really love that. And I think that's the major difference that this new director brings to the film is that kind of comedic timing, um, which the other ones have. I think that was mostly because of the performances. But here you see a lot of the style, um, the stylish decisions here are a lot, they're very comical. Um, so I really like that. So bring some tissues to Bad Boys for Life. I think you're going to enjoy this ride. You're going to be surprised. Well, I'm not going to build it up because you're going to come in expecting it's the best. It's not like the best action movie ever, but it just has a lot of heart. And I really love that they took time for the story and not just the action scenes. Because like I mentioned earlier, this, this, these movies are not about that action, the kick-ass action, but the bromance between Marcus and Mike. And I think we'll never see this kind of buddy cop comedy um, again. Um, I mean, there's some great ones out there already, but I think this one, um, I mean, Lethal Weapon is one, obviously. Can't think of any hooch. <laughs> um, hooch and Turner, Turner and hooch. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we'll see the likes of them. Although at the end, they do set it up for another one. So that'll be interesting to see the direction they take. But I think it'd be a good idea, like they did with this one, wait till a really good script comes around to actually revisit it because I think this one was done really, really well. Like I said, it has a lot of heart. Um, there's a lot of action as well. Uh, maybe not as much blow em up as there was in the previous two films. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a few blow em up scenes, but I think these were done a lot cooler. Uh, it reflects the times that we're in and it's good that they modernized uh, the action in this one and, and so I really really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it especially if you're a Bad Boys fan and you love that uh, bromance I think you will not be disappointed between uh, between that and the story.